Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm opening another Miniverse Make It Mini Lifestyle Series 1. All right, let's see what we have in here. This part is a shelf. This, ooh, is this the lavender one? Yes, this actually is a new one for us. We have most of the candles, but we do not have this one. So the jars for this one, they have gold lids. They're both a little bit different. And then we have some tongs. We have, oh, that's so cute, a gold tray to put them on. And the lavender wax. Of course, the millions of instructions and the checklist. So this is supposed to have, I thought so, some scented little beads or something that goes in there. We have the wicks and then the scents. So we got the birthday cake one and this is scented. Um, the wax isn't and yeah, it smelled really good. So I'm excited to see this one. Let's go ahead and put it together. Okay, here's the instructions. Add the wicks, put most of the wax in, cure it, add a little bit more of the resin or wax and then sprinkle the scented beads cure it again and then you can trim the wicks pretty easy so i will put the nozzle on here i never used to use the nozzles but it does make it easier and i just looked at the checklist we now officially have everything except for the clownfish the clownfish is hard to find have not seen that one yet and we haven't had too many. We did get like a couple duplicates of the goldfish, but other than that, we've been pretty lucky with the lifestyle. Okay, so we have that in there. Might have to readjust the wicks once we get the resin in there, but we'll see. Oh, that's cute. I thought it would be a little bit more purpley, but I mean, it is, I guess, a lavender color. So I'm going to put most of this in. Might let it set for a minute just to make sure there's no air bubbles, because sometimes those will sneak up on you. You can pop them with a toothpick if you'd like. All right. Add just a little bit more of this one. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go set them outside and I'll hold the wick to make sure it's straight. They'll set outside for a few minutes. They're real warm. Definitely cured. And I was able to hold the wick straight so that it wouldn't be crooked. So I'm adding just a little bit to the tops of it. You don't need too much. That's probably good. Now let's cut this open. Might just cut the edge off to make it easier. Oh wow, yeah. Definitely smells like lavender. I wonder if they put like essential oils or something in it. That's what it smells like. Doesn't smell like a fake lavender. It smells, smells legit. I want a bunch on top. You could probably take a toothpick as well and move those around. I just want to make sure there's a nice even layer. I'm sure they will sink a little bit. And whatever's not touching resin, you can just dump it out. So I think that looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. All right, time to cure them again. Here's what they look like when they're cured. Now we just have to trim the wicks. I'm going to leave a little bit on like that. So here is the final product. 
I'm gonna leave the lids off of them though I think they would still fit with the wick yeah they do isn't that cute I love that so stay tuned see if we can find the clown fish but if you want to see any of the other ones like I said we have the full series except for that fish check out our channel thanks so much for watching bye guys